What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS. Thank you for watching this video. And what we're going to be doing today, I have not done one of these videos before. A little nervous. And it's going to be our very first live attack. And not only that, but with the first live attack with my level 40 Archer Queen. There she is. Look at her go. She is level 40. So we have this, we had a random match uh, against... Chilean attack. It was just a random spin. I personally have not heard of this clan. They have some decent-ish bases, uh, kind of anti-3. Uh, breakdown is kind of funky. They do have some, some, <laughs> some very weird bases. But the base we are looking at today is number 12. Now, it is a 9.5. It does not have Inferno Towers. But regardless, what we're going to do is we're going to plan this attack and in a lot of these war attacks, you guys just see, uh, you know, the, the end result, which is the actual attack. But there's a lot of stuff that goes in before that, which is what we're going to be covering today. So we're going to go ahead and sketch the attack out. I'm going to show you guys what exactly I'm going to do, how I'm going to hit this base. And then we'll come after the sketch is over, we'll come back and do the attack live. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so here's a picture of the base that we're going to be hitting going up against number 12 and the way we're going to sketch this out remember it's all about base identification and the first thing that i noticed when i saw this base is how close an air defense was to the enemy archer queen and with a very light kill squad we can definitely eliminate a couple objectives like an air defense the enemy cc and the enemy archer queen anything other than that would pretty much be extra and the entry isn't too difficult, so I'm pretty sure that we're going to be able to get into that compartment, at least get the heroes in there and take out a few of those objectives. So I'm going to be doing it with a CB Lalo, so just using one golem, just heroes, and you know just a pair of wizards. So what I'm going to be doing first is I'm going to drop my camp golem right there on the mortar between the army camp and the dark spell factory. So he'll route to the mortar, tanking everything. And I'm also going to have a baby drag right here on that dark elixir drill. And my second baby drag on the builder hut, kind of by the town hall. There's quite a few high HP buildings right there between the dark, uh, dark elixir storage, the town hall, and the elixir storage. So I'm also going to have a pair of wizards just kind of right here on the mine and the elixir pump. Just creating the funnel because you have to eliminate that trash to make sure the heroes go in. And with no air targeting... Uh, defense is over there by the town hall I should be able to get pretty good value from a baby drag over there so once I see the funnels being created I'm gonna drop my heroes kind of by this army camp and this dark spell factory right there and I also have wall breakers I have three wall breakers to kind of pop this wall right in there where that red dot is so I'll drop one test the area and then go ahead and drop the other two wall should pop and then after that, we're going to go ahead, once we see the phones being created, drop the heroes. Then I'm going to have a jump spell right here. King should take the jump spell. Um, hopefully maybe get the archer tower. You know, I don't know exactly how far he's going to get. But in case the enemy queen doesn't hop the wall, he will take the jump, knock her out, and eliminate that objective. So once the AD's down and the enemy archer queen's down, that's when I'm going to start my hound loon portion so i have two camp hounds and one maxed hound and loon in the cc so to start off i'm going to drop one hound right there on that air defense at three o'clock followed up by uh we'll make it black followed up by three loons on the wizard tower three loons on the mortar and i'm going to go ahead and haste them up in that area right there just to remember you don't want the hounds to be too far in front of the loons you, know, you want to make sure that the defenses are being targeted by the hound and your loons aren't taking all that damage so just keeping them hasted up and okay once that area is clear right there and i see everything's working i'm gonna drop my second camp hound right here to tank that archer tower then we'll go ahead and drop probably two maybe three loons we do have 20 loons 
So, so we have nine, three, six, we have nine loons right there. So once this section over at three o'clock has been eliminated, what I'm going to do then, the hounds from there should path right here to this air defense as it is the closest AD. Uh, you know, they go from air defense to air defense. So once I see that they're on top of that air defense, I'm going to go ahead and drop a few more loons right here on that archer tower and a few on this archer tower right there. And what oh, I don't know what that was. Okay, so we have three, six, nine, twelve. So we have fifteen loons. Anywhere from twelve, yeah, twelve to fifteen loons will be on the map at this point. Taking out, and we're just basically gonna be going around this base, obviously, just going counterclockwise in just a circular motion as defenses are being tanked by the hounds, drop more loons down. Once the AD at 12 o'clock is down, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my Max Hound out of the CC way over here at about 11 o'clock because there are quite a few air targeting defenses. There's two Wizard Towers, we have an Archer Tower, and the second Expo, uh, that Island Expo right there. And from there, uh, just gonna trickle in a few more loons, probably on this mortar. We'll get a couple on that Wizard Tower right there. And I should have a few left over, maybe for cleanup. And remember, when you guys are playing these hits, always make sure you check for builder huts. So this base does have a hut at 9 o'clock and 3. And I do have a couple wizards to help with cleanup in case, uh, you know, the pups get wiped out, whatever have you. And while this is all going down, I'm just going to be, well, I guess we'll just have to use red. So, you know, I'll drop a haste right there. Because I do have six haste. Probably drop a haste right there. We'll probably haste the uh we'll probably haste that group right there. Probably drop another haste right there. And I also have one heel. I don't know where, exactly where the Teslas are. There's only a few places they could be, either in the island expo compartments, or they could be inside the core. So I will hang on to that heel and just drop it wherever I see a Tesla farm, if there even is one. And again, I do have some wizards to help out with cleanup. So that's pretty much the plan. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get right into this and see how this turns out. So that's the sketch. That's just a little bit of the behind the scenes of what we do, how we plan a lot of these attacks. If it's not on voice, a lot of guys are using this sketching method. You know, just kind of just helps you break down the base and helps you visualize how certain things will go down. And it really is a big help. But that is enough talking. Let's just go ahead and get right into the live attack. All right, before we go in, what we're going to do now, the attack is sketched out. Before we go in, we always have to check the army count. We've got to make sure we have everything. Three wall breakers. we got 20 loons. we got wizards for the funnel and for cleanup. A couple baby drags to help with the funnel. Golem, two hounds. we got our spells. Always make sure you have those five check marks. Uh, those green checks, that means you aren't forgetting anything. Now, we're not forgetting anything. We just got to make sure we're bringing the right stuff. Obviously, both heroes are up. We got our CC, Hound, and Loon, and Poison. So without further ado, let's go ahead. We'll take one more peek at it. Here it is. All right, so we can go Golem, Baby Drag, Funnel right here, right here, Hound, Loon. Got two hounds on that one, hound. Okay, clean up. We do have a pair of huts and this is obviously a fresh hit. So let's just go ahead, quick check, and we will go right into it. Here we go. Live attack number one. So we're gonna go baby drag right there. Gonna go ahead and drop down one wizard. There goes our golem, another wizard. Let's get a baby drag right there. Okay, let's see. Let that slowly work. All right, baby drag is going to get that elixir stored, so that's really good. All right, so we got that. Get queen down. King. So now we're going to go ahead. All right, so they also have a hound loon coming out. Go ahead and drop down the jump spell. All right, queen's working. All right. Here we go. Let's see. So King should get Queen. She's gonna get stuck. Gotta get that loon down. Pop Queen ability. 
All right, so we did get the air defense and enemy queen. So he's getting tanked. All right, so I'll go one, two, three, one, two, three. Go ahead and haste that. Hound, one, two, three. Gonna go ahead and drop another haste. We'll get clean up down right now. Heal on the Tesla farm right there. All right, so that's working. One, two. One, two. Get a nice haste right there. All right, so we still have six. All right, now we'll get our CC Hound Loon. All right, that air defense is down. All right, let's see. One, two. One, two. We got our wizard on cleanup over here. Got a lot of cleanup. Let's see. Get two on that mortar. All right, so we got a bunch of cleanup. Let's see. Expo. Nice split right there. Let's see. We do have tons of cleanup. Nothing else that we can drop. So now it's just a matter of time. We do still have a minute. Uh, we got that cannon. Once that cannon goes down, that loon should target on the CC. This is definitely looking like a three. There it is. I think we got it. Uh, nothing but cleanup now. All kinds of pups all over the place. King did walk around on the entry. I thought I had a nice funnel set up. He didn't quite make it, but he did come back around. He did have the Archer Queen in the corner of his eye to take out the enemy AQ and the AD, which was absolutely crucial. Getting the three star. Now, again, I know this was just a 9.5, but regardless, that was my very first uh, live attack. So we'll go ahead and just check out the war map. We still have one more attack to do. Kind of a slow start. It is, you know, just a midweek war, just a random spin, more or less a far more. But that was actually a lot of fun. Got kind of nervous. But completely wrecked that base. Had all kinds of cleanup. So I guess we can go ahead, just watch the replay on this one. So we'll go ahead and see, see how we had. Just like on the sketch, you know, it doesn't always, always go according to plan. I did not expect the king to walk out, but regardless, we got it done. So we had the baby drag, golem tanking everything. I'm still just getting used, you know, to the new troops. Obviously bringing the extra spell to the battlefield. So, you know, it, it did have the max 80. I mean, it was similar kind of like to my base. So it was pretty evenly matched. Um, but regardless, so everything's routing in. Golem went in and they did have a hound loon. CC. I was surprised that loon actually didn't go down. I didn't get the value from my level 40 uh, queen like I like I thought I was going to, but that loon stayed up. Uh, you know, I didn't have a max poison donate in the clan castle. We're almost level five in FML, but not quite. But I popped the ability. I, the the second poison did take the loon out, so she was able to snipe the pups. Pups pups will completely destroy an air raid. So then we start our hound over here. Uh, with six loons going in, drop the haste to haste them in to hit the expo. Second camp hound in. And remember, you don't want your hounds to get too far in front of your loon. So that's why I'm constantly hasting them in. Saw a mini Tesla farm pop in the core right there. So I dropped that heel. I uh, didn't get the best value, but it is what it is. Did get the archer tower. And once this other, uh, the third air defense went down up at 12 o'clock, went ahead and dropped the CC hound. Now, I thought the air defense was down when I dropped the CC hound. I thought he was going to path directly to the one over at 9, but he still ended up getting there. Everything was tanked just long enough and was able to haste everything in. And it ended up working out. It ended up working out pretty well once those loons in the core took out that air sweeper. And it was just completely wrecked at this point. There's just way too many loons for that AD to handle. And just tons of cleanup from the pups. Um, just like you saw in the sketch, I saved a few wizards for cleanup on the back end. And that was completely wrecked. So anyway, that was, that was actually a lot of fun. So at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Riggs' very first live attack on YouTube. Had not done that before. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and and that's pretty much going to do it for this one. Live attack with Riggs. Very first time using the level 40 Archer Queen. Haven't even used her in a farm raid yet, so that was a lot of fun. As always, make sure you guys like, leave any comment, like the video if you like the video, leave any comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate all the love and support. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.